Welcome to my series on the Presona Studio Live 1602 Digital Mixer. Okay, let's talk a little bit about your gain coming into the unit. Now along the very top of your mixer, you're going to see a row of controls. There's one for each channel, and these are for your inputs coming in. So it could be a cassette deck or a microphone. Um, whatever sources you need to plug into your channels. This is going to control how hot that input is going to be. So like right now, let's go back here and change this back to a standard setting. We can see a normal fat channel where I do have a compressor on and I'm looking at the mic I'm using right now. And so if I want to see how hot my input is, I can go down to the bottom of the board right here on the left side of your faders you've got your meter button so you want to push the top button and it will illuminate and it says input on it and then all your meters up here will change to level meters for your inputs on each channel so what you're looking at here is you don't want to see any red clipping up here at the top of each one of these meters is a red led that will clip and you don't want that staying lit for any length of time whatsoever digital clipping is a really horrible sound it just really bad so you don't want to see that if it just flashes once in a while you're okay but the general rule for I would like to follow is a similar to well the same as following things for a recording studio you want in the digital world like this you want to have things hovering right around where I'm at here around negative 6 to negative 12 DB and these meters here are not really giving you a lot to go on now see I just clipped that when I just went really loud and that's okay it's not going to do much damage even in a recording but if you're seeing that red light all the time I'm going to get on the mic here like this and then it's just like hammering it. Now I'm backing off the mic to my, my normal position and you want to have a nice strong signal so that your signal to noise ratio is good. So the mic is going to be very strong. Right now I have a door leading out of my apartment building with a highway like 50 feet from my front door and you can't hear it because the noise level of it is so low compared to the input of my voice on the microphone. So you want to get that set up so that you're not injecting a lot of noise into the system. So if you're lazy about it and you've got 16 inputs running a low level noise that you can hear, they build up on top of each other. So you want your microphones and inputs very strong and very hot. That's and then when it comes to mixing it in the front of house, that's what your faders are for. So you can get the levels that you need. But the inputs need to be as hot as you can get them without clipping. So you get really good sound out of whatever instrument or vocalist that you are recording or reproducing live. So that's the input structure of the system. It comes in through the, this control here and then it shoots straight into your 48 volt or your phase invert buttons. Um, and then it goes into your fat channel. So the manual doesn't even talk about input gain at all for your quick start, so that's why I'm doing this video.